Hello everybody in St. Louis. We're here at the Darkness Haunted House and we wanted to give you a quick tour and talk a little bit about all the different attractions here at the Darkness Haunted House. The Darkness Haunted House opens on Friday the 13th and we just want to have a, a little quick explanation of everything that you can do here when you come to the darkness. Well, for starters, when you exit the darkness, you exit into this room. Now let me quickly, quickly go over and we want to show you our horror retail store. But when you come to the darkness, we have outdoor scare zone that's out front. And then downstairs, we have a gothic theme, monster filled haunted house. Then upstairs, it's all about the haunted mansion at the darkness. And then when you exit the darkness, you enter Terror Visions, which is a 3D haunted house. And then when you exit that, you come here to the Horror Museum, right here at the Darkness Haunted House. Now, you can actually visit the Darkness's Horror Gift Store and the museum without buying a ticket. You would just walk to the back of the Darkness and go up the stairs. And you could come right in, and our horror retail shop, which we're gonna go into in just a second, which is in there, is open anytime the haunted house is open. Now, but before we do that, and we take a look at all the cool Halloween merch for 2024, let's talk about the space when you exit the darkness and some of the things that are new in 2024. For starters, this right here is the exit of TerraVisions. And then you deposit your 3D glasses right there and the clown waves goodbye. Now, there's tons of horror memorabilia in these uh, cases. Up here, there's all kinds of monsters. And do you know what this is right here? This is very significant, okay? This is the only remaining piece from the original darkness back in 1994. So all of the, uh, all of the, when we were in the building across the way, which is now an apartment complex, all the windows were boarded up. So I came up with this idea that we would buy these canvases and put them in there and then paint them to look, to make them look like, you know, they were, you know, you were looking out the window. And we just happened to find this one. So we hung in our museum and that's the significance of it. So when you exit out of TerraVisions, and you grab onto it, you don't grab it, but look at it. That is painted back in 1994 for the original darkness. Now, we also have these four amazing pinball games, and they're only available when the darkness is open. This is a Monster Bash. It's the limited edition version of Monster Bash. This is the signature edition of Elvira's House of Horrors. And you'll notice that she signed it right there. And this is the Monsters limited edition pinball game with a topper. And this is Creature from the Black Lagoon. So there are these four pinball games. Now let me tell you another thing. Do you see that thing right there that says Boo in the Night? Back in 1994, and I want you to look where you see the top picture and Frankenstein is right there. Let me see if I can zoom in on it. Okay, let's try it. Now check this out, this is really cool. Okay, do you see the Frankenstein? Do you see what's in the windows behind the Frankenstein? Okay, that is an article from 1994, the very first year the darkness opened. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch did an article on reviewing all the haunted houses in town. They rated the darkness the best, and it, we were the first. It was a first-year haunt, 
And that right there is what's behind that picture. It's unbelievable that we have that. Now another thing that we have is all kinds of horror memorabilia. That is the real uh, one of the puppet. It, and it's actually motorized and everything from the movie Saw. And this is Rick Baker costume from Disney's Haunted Mansion. We have this uh, Walking Dead video game. And then we have this uh, Zombie Jam basketball game. My son loves that game. And then we have the Darkness's very own claw machine. Seeing it's themed like the darkness. And there is the Leprechaun right up there. Michael Myers. And you can stand right next to him and take a picture. But there's all these autographs. There's Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing, Bela Lugosi. They're all here. And then we've got all these cool pumpkins. Now normally, that guy is turned on and he's singing songs. And then right here is our five minute escape room. So when you book the five minute escape room at scarefest.fearticket.com, this is what you play. This was built brand new last year. It's a serial killer themed escape room. You get five minutes to solve all the puzzles and clues, and then you get out. Now, a couple other things I wanna point out when you exit the darkness. There are these photo ops, and you see one right there, and you got Creature from Black Lagoon on one side, Jack Nicholson, It, The Nun, and then right there you have another one, and you can stand there and hold that chainsaw. There's the Joker. There's Beetlejuice as a sandworm. You can ride the electric chair. It actually is animated. And then this electric chair here, you pull the trigger and then he goes off. And then this, can anybody tell me what that character is? I can tell you, he's the darkness. Another photo op here, tons more autographs. And then we have this game, Carnival. And then there's another photo op right here. You put your head here and here and then it looks like you're being torn apart by zombies and somebody can take your picture right in front of the darkness. And see, this is where you exit, but you can also come up the stairs and then you see right here, horror store and arcade. So let me recap before we go into the gift store. We have the outdoor scare zone out in front of the darkness. We also have a, uh, an animated Frankenstein band out there as well. Uh, then you go into the darkness, the bottom floor is a gothic themed haunted house. And then the upstairs is a haunted mansion. And by the way, there is Julia Adams who starred and Rico Browning who was the creature. There, that's their autographs. And look right here, this is a replica of Annabelle and The Exorcist. And you can take your picture with all these things. Now, another thing I wanna mention, you see this thing right here, that's brand new this year. That is air conditioning, believe it or not. We got all new air conditioning in Terravisions and all through the horror retail store. So now that I've shown you around this room, and don't forget, the downstairs is a monster-themed section of the darkness. The upstairs is a mansion. You come to Terror Visions, and then you come in here. The little shop of horrors. And let's take a look at our horror retail store for 2024. And let's just get some of the highlights here. There are tons and tons of masks, I can tell you that. Would you like to have an alien foam face hugger you can have one all kinds of horror mugs they're everywhere all over the place you can have a life size gremlin there's uh christmas ornaments do you want like some horror teeth these are um actual air fresheners and they're horror themed and then look at let me just take a look here and look at all the different t-shirts that we have here and we do have a new new ones for this year. That one right there is one of them. That hoodie right there. And you're kind of just seeing all the different styles of t-shirts that we have. There's a lot of them. And then we'll come over here. 
we have zip up hoodies and regular hoodies and then believe it or not this it right here is for sale and you can take him home so come on down and get it we also have these full size characters there's bride of chucky see to chucky here's the texas chainsaw massacre you have all these collector tin lunch boxes we have some costumes but we only focus on the ones that are scary like terrifier or house of a thousand corpses carrie the conjuring krampus chucky beetlejuice well he's not scary but we love him and then we even have some stuff that's not horror like you can see this replica of the original batman the penguin and the and robin from uh batman 66 and believe it or not this is a purse chucky purse okay lots of purses here i can tell you that jeepers creepers masks hats and his axe all kinds of toys if you like Candyman, this you can put this on and uh literally you can have the hook and check this out all these like what they're called body knockers they're everywhere all kinds of uh toys you can see more masks and then this is probably one of the most popular things here are these plushies and we have plushies all over the place by the way you can see them up there too the little it the wednesday uh we even have uh what's his name bob from the painter from uh you know pbs <laughs> he's up there okay now you'll notice we also have drinks uh and we have alcoholic drinks as well so you can come up here and you can have a great time we also have dipping dots and there's like believe it or not we have the darkness playing cards horror cards we have these lego horror keychains i mean we have just about everything you can think of tons and tons and tons of mugs and then look at this a full-sized it and then there's seated Chucky. Two scale, actually. Those are one to one. And lots and lots and lots of mugs. Now, another thing we have a lot of is purses. So those coffins up there, those are purses, believe it or not. And you know, it's actually really cool in here because of the air conditioning. And we have a lot of these wall art. Now these are beach towels, and I think it's Chucky, Michael Myers, Creature from Black Lagoon, I'm pretty sure. And we have a lot of really cool toys, like scale, replicas, uh, there's Terrifier, Michael Myers, Trick or Treat, um, lots of bobbleheads, there's Ghost uh, Face, Michael Myers, Stranger Things, they're all over the place. There's a full-size replica of... Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Let's take a look at it. Look at that. He's wearing his uh, tuxedo. Very cool. There's a uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. That's like a real replica of his glove. And it's made of steel. That's why it has the, uh, the, the foam on the end. And if you're an Evil Dead fan, we have... You know, the Book of the Dead. We have these darkness, 500-piece puzzles. And there you go. There's the replicas of Halloween 3 masks. Terrifier doll. We only have a handful left. And let's see what else is in here. We have a lot of shirts, sweaters, and, and there's Patty working away. What else do we have, Patty? We have, well, you said these board games are all sold out everywhere. You can't even oh, get yeah, them Oh, yeah, you can't anymore. even get them collector anymore. Items. Yeah, Chucky, Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is probably one of the biggest selling masks here. This little rabbit. These gremlins fly off the shelf, don't they? Oh, golly, yeah. Especially the littler ones. Like, that's the medium-sized one, the little one. Oh, whew, we can't even get And this is something new we got in this year. We got all four of the KISS members, the original KISS members. And then let's take a look at all the masks and see, you can see there's a lot more plushies. But the masks are everywhere. You got Leatherface, the Wolfman, Creature in Black Lagoon, 
Terrifier, uh, Michael Myers. Does anybody know who that is? That's Christopher Lee as the Dracula. I mean, we have them all. There's Alice Cooper. And then you have from Trick or Treat. Here's Creature from Black Lagoon. And then these are from a movie called Haunt. And that those are from uh, a movie called, a uh, TV show called Fear Street. And by the way, look at all these toys we have. I mean, there's just so many of them. Um, and you know, it's kind of cool just to come in here and look at stuff, even if you don't buy it. Here's Halloween Ends Knife. You can see it's all nice and bloody. Now, let's see, Gremlin Masks. We also have quite a few Funko Pops. We try to focus on just getting the horror ones. And then we have these two, these mini monsters. And then we also have the big ones as well, which are really cool. Bella Gosi. Let's see, we have this cool Frankenstein bus, and we only had two. Now we only have one left. And look at that, the Twilight Zone. Talking Atina. She's right up there. We only have two left. You can't even get that anymore. And then you can see this is i guess like a nun costume here there's lots of cool t-shirts here's some chucky sweaters uh, this would be a wednesday i believe yeah oh okay that's a wednesday <laughs> costume okay and then look at these chia pets we have michael myers we have chucky elvira an it puzzle and there's only one of those the stay push stay puff marshmallow man does anybody know what movie this is from this guy directed it. Michael Myers' movie was directed by John Carpenter, and that's from They Live. And this is from a movie called Creep Show. And that's his, uh, the wife was cheating on the husband, so he killed them. And they came back and got him. And this is also from the movie Creep Show. That's the monster under the stairs. And this is highly collectible. This is the three figures from Halloween 3. And you can see it's in a TV box. And there's Michael Myers' throw towels. Now, another thing we got new this year is we have a lot of Scream stuff, okay? So you got Scream with the knife, Scream just the mask. And by the way, we can look at, oh, and you know who that is? That's Harriet, Har Harrietta from Evil Dead 2. There's Chucky, Terrifier, Michael Myers. This is a mask, one of the, the bad guys from Scooby-Doo. There's Leatherface. And look at that. So there's another Scream with the knife. Here's a full-sized alien down there in the box. You can buy a Chucky trick-or-treat uh, greeter. An Evil Dead knife. Those, those are the collector knives, you know, that you uh, kill the demon with. But where's the other Scream stuff? I want to show you this. So look at this. This is a package of Scream. It's got the Scream mask, the knife, and the voice changer. We have all of them. They're right there. Look at that plushie. Isn't that nice? And there's Annabelle. Yeah, we have it all. We have, uh, here you go. There's Billy, the puppet, It Toys. And by the way, they don't make this anymore, and we only have five left. And they're sitting right here. This is a, another game called Creature Feature. And let's see, is there anything else to see? Oh, let's look in these cabinets. We bought these. I don't know, they're really cool vintage Halloween trick or treat books. We also have this thing called Shine Bright Little Fright. It's a, a haunted house owner made that book. It's, uh, you know, for kids. We have patches. All kinds of horror socks, beanies, uh, keychains, tons and tons of keychains, uh, darkness, magnets, lots of keychains. What else am I missing? Oh, there's a lot of Funkos up there. Well, did you show them the, the mugs? Yeah, we looked at the mugs. And so... Uh, that about wraps up this video, I guess. I want to thank you for watching it. But there is a lot of stuff here. Oh, I know some stuff that we didn't show. Hanging up in the ceiling, there's more purses. There's two different styles up there just hanging around. 
And then let me see if I can point out the brand new uh, t-shirts for this year. Um, I wonder if they're on display. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Well, this is one right here. It's a hoodie. And it's got this, like, fly on the back. And then this is uh, the other one. The darkness. So, at any rate, some of the t-shirts we're running out of so uh, I mean we don't just like on a dime order more so come here and get the ones you want so let me remind you if you want to learn more just about the darkness go to thedarkness.com or you can go to scarefest.com we would appreciate if you would follow us on Instagram we're at scarefest give us a like on YouTube we would really appreciate it because we're constantly uploading content all year round and so we're showing you how we make things at the darkness we're showing you how we do a lot of stuff now one other thing oh by the way i forgot to mention these we got these chainsaws check that out and they actually work we got these replica toys for america uh, american werewolf in london that's a really weird scary movie from John Landis but anyway so we're really excited about Halloween 2024 you can get your tickets at scarefest.fairticket.com and there could be some big changes coming to the darkness this year this might be the last year you can visit um, Terror Visions because we do have a plan to tear it out and replace it from scratch not a hundred percent but probably it's in the works so come down here to the darkness we would love to see you uh, would advise you to get a combo ticket with the lamp because the lamp is the lamp haunted house is just down the street and so if you buy a combo ticket you can come to the darkness and the lamp literally back to back they're almost side by side they're not even but like a mile apart on the same street so thanks for watching the video we hope to see you down right here at the darkness. And don't forget, you could bring your kids down here. You could drop them off to go to the haunted house. You can wait for them right here in the horror retail store and just hang out. And you can shop. You can play pinballs. You can take photos and wait for your kids to come out. Have a great time this Halloween right here at the darkness. This is our 30 first year of scaring St. Louis. Over 1 million people have visited the darkness and we're so proud of that and we're so uh, thankful for all of our uh, loyal customers and fans of our haunted house and if you love Halloween the only way for me to describe the darkness is if you like candy where would you want to go visit Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. That's what the darkness is like this year. It's like going to Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Anything and everything you've ever dreamed of for Halloween is here and we're ready for you this season. So take care and we'll see you soon right here at the Darkness Haunted House. And don't forget to visit the Horror Retail Store right on your way out.